Okay, welcome YouTube land. Welcome to my garden. And in this video, I'll tell you guys what I'm growing. I will be repeating some things that have been in my other videos. This is my fourth year growing, my third year doing it on YouTube, I believe. And just a real quick thing about my YouTube channel, you guys. I started the channel to share my reggae collection with everyone. And the herb growing videos were kind of... I did the shade cloth video to teach or show people what I do to keep caterpillars out of my grow. I never spray anything on my plants. And it kind of progressed into showing my entire grow a few years ago. So I'm growing in Joshua Tree country, the high Mojave Desert, about 3,500 foot elevation. It's a near ideal climate. The soil is sand. So it needs to be heavily amended. And I increased my garden. You guys will notice in the morning I'm shaky. I'm an old guy. I'm 62. 62 guys. That might surprise some of you. So in the morning I have my coffee. I'm kind of shaky. I'm not Mr. YouTube personality. So feel free to to hit the mute button because I do ramble, I do talk. And in this video, I just thought I would share and tell you guys a little bit about like the, me, this property. I grew up in Orange County. I worked in Orange County my whole adult life. I bought this property 20 years ago. I always wanted to grow herb, but you guys know Babylon makes the rules. So anyway, four years ago, I decided, yes, I will grow. And I was a part-timer back here, or out here. I would come once once a month sometimes. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to set cannabis, I'm going to set a drip system up, a constant drip system, which I did in these four boxes. Now there's six, these four boxes. I amended heavily, I, I installed this constant drip system. I'm able to have these on a constant drip because this soil is super, super well drained. And I didn't know if it would work. I didn't know if the system would keep working, I, but I would come back after up to two weeks, three weeks, and the plants would be blowing up. They will grow fast in here, you guys. You will see jaw willing. They will just grow super fast. So, that was the reasoning behind my constant drip system. Because the plants drink exactly what they want, when they want it. No more, no less. And it doesn't really, you know, you could say it may waste a little water, but not much. So the constant drip system is the key, I think, to growing out here in the high desert. Uh, the shade cloth, they probably enjoy a little bit of shade. And in the desert here, they enjoy the shade cloth with the main thing is it keeps the caterpillars out. So that's the history. I'm not a breeder. I'm, I'm not a cannabis growing expert. And four years ago, the, the genetics on these plants, four years ago, I had a bunch of bag seed. Bag seed is just herb, you know, seeds you find in different bags of herb, a random seed here, a random seed there, two here, two there, three there, whatever, one, whatever. So I had a bunch of bag seed. My friends gave me some bag seed. I sprouted some bag seed and the bag seed is what I grew back here in 2016. So that's the genetics, unknown genetics. The reason I call them B, A, B, C, and D plants. 
This in 2016 was the A box. B box, C box, D box. So I simply crowded them in here like I'm crowding them now. You guys are probably going, oh my God, this guy's planting them six inches apart. I have a bunch of seeds. The seeds came in 2016. I grew out my bag seed. August rolled around, a big, huge sativa female. She looked like a pure sativa, super skinny leaves, super big. She decided she wasn't getting pollinated, so she sprouted a few male flowers. And I was in Idaho at the time. Came back to a bunch of pollen back here, which was a blessing in disguise because it gave me all these seeds. Now these seeds are losing their viability as far as germination rate. You know, they're four years old now. They're not germinating like they used to. And every year I've gotten other seeds just from random pollen that blew back here, I guess. These are gonna go to friends in Orange County. All right, enough, some ra enough of that rambling, you guys. I just wanted to give you a little history, okay? It's my fourth year growing. I'm not an expert. I'm not a breeder. I have no interest in indoor growing. So the lineup for this year, these two boxes, I did add these two boxes. This box and this box I added. The other four boxes have four-year-old soil in them. So I'm curious to see, I didn't spend a lot of time on commercial amendments. I added mostly my own compost in this box. This box was back here and I would throw the plant carcasses back in this box. It never grew anything in it. I never had a drip system in it. But every year a few volunteers sprout up. There's one right right there let's see a little volunteer there so these are all 2016 seeds with the exception of one seed so i'm just plant i'm i've never grown out the b5s i did grow out the b1s and b2s which are really nice plants the last two years b1s and b2s these b5s very well could be sisters different phenotypes, whatever. So my goal is three, two to four adult plants per box, which most people would consider crowding. I told you guys I'd jump all over. Okay, these are B6s. So those two boxes are B5 plants. They're all sisters. Well, half of them will be males. They're not sisters. I wish they were, would all be sisters. These are all regular seeds, so there's going to be a bunch of males. These are B6. And how I numbered them, this was the B box. I ended up with six adult plants. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very technical. That's how I number them. That's the B6. That's my scientific method. This plant is a delicious candy. If you guys have been following me, I grew a delicious candy plant. And I ended up with about six seeds. So that's one I sprouted. Let's hope it's a girl. And the rest of the plants in here are kind of random. I will wait for another video to tell you what these other plants are. Other than these two babies, I gave, I put them directly in the ground, the seeds. I put two in one hole. I don't know if you can see them. I put two seeds in a hole and I, of these C1. These are called C1 plants. It was a dark indica, the mother. So I gave up on them sprouting, and sure enough, they did sprout. I separated them. So those are C1s. I'm excited about those because I ne have never had success trying to germinate those C1 seeds the past couple of years. And these I'm excited. Same thing with these D2s. They, they never really germinated. They were There was only two plants in this D box. So I thought I'd... I had success doing the paper towel sprouting, so I had some D2 seeds for the first time. And they were real blueberry-ish, not real big. 
and these are more B6s. So I am trying, I finally retired. I, I've been running back and forth between Orange County and out here. And I'm kind of moving out here full time. And if you guys are just subscribing to my channel for the reggae, this, my reggae is not here. So during the growth season, I'm not going to put as many records up. I have many, 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 many more records. But I'm not always by my turntable on my system, so just be patient. I'll, I'm going to be putting more up. But I'm, like I said, I'm, there's been some things change, changing. Mainly I'm retiring. Yes. Praise Jah. All right, everybody. There was my shaky morning. What is it? Like seven? 7 a.m. And yeah, you'll hear that rooster through all these videos. He doesn't know morning, noon from night. But he's good at protecting his hens out here. So we only have one rooster. Sounded like we have 10 probably. All right, you guys. I hope you're all doing awesome. Don't worry about anything, you guys. I know it's a reggae thing. Bob Marley was so right. Don't worry about a thing. If, if, if there's something out of your control that you have no control over, take it from me, an old guy. Worrying about it is not going to do a darn thing. Except make you worry. All right, you guys. You guys all have a blessed, wonderful existence, and I will be in touch. Thanks for following along.